Hello everybody, this is Joshua and I'm back here with another video. So, um, what we're going to be seeing in this video is that, um, as you've already seen your screen, that how does a browser render content? And these are the four topics we're going to be covering today. That when does rendering offer and the, about the rendering process. The DOM, which is the document object model, is the full form of DOM. And the CSSOM. So now let's start with the first one, which is when does uh, rendering occur? By starting the question that, um, what happens to a browser when content is returned to it? So here's a graph telling you about it. So this data out here in the server, it's it's um, it has to come back to the browser and and, and then um. Some computation happens, and then by then rendering occurs in here. Like from when when the data is coming back to the server, and that's where the rendering occurs. Because in the browser it shows something, it shows the user something on the screen, like a loading symbol. I'm just give some context. So, okay, so um, it shows some something on the screen for the user so between when this uh, data is coming back to this browser okay so, and then this computation happens so while the computation is happening which means the rendering is happening in that same time so that's when rendering occurs now I'm just going to do a second thing which is about the rendering process so in the rendering process, this browser it first loads this content, then renders it using HTML and script, and contains it can contain images, subframes, and etc. So now let's go ahead and see about the DOM, which is the document object model. I'm sorry. So as the content in the is stored in the browser, the rendered content. So uh, this is, has to be stored in the browser to the DOM. It should be accessible to the DOM as well. This is the document object model. So now what is document object model? Which is the DOM. So the document object model is a cross-platform and language independent on interface that treats an XML or HTML document as a tree structure wherein each node is an object representing a part of the document. So now Let's cover the CSSOM. So CSSOM stands for CSS Object Model. CSS Object Model. So the CSSOM stands for CSS Object Model, and it's basically a map of the CSS styles found on a web page, and it is much like the DOM, but for the CSS, the, rather than the HTML, the CSSOM combined with the DOM are used by browsers display web pages now wait a minute why are we talking about CSSOM and DOM in the middle of rendering so now a question is that how is CSSOM and DOM related to the rendering process so the CSSOM and DOM trees are combined into rendering tree which then is used to compute the um, layout of each visible element and show that as an input to the paint process that renders the pixels to the screen. Optimizing each of these steps is critical to achieve optimal rendering performance. So this is our whole reason for what is a CSS one and dog interfering in um, CSSOM and DOM interfering in the middle of rendering. So, thank you guys, and thank you, friends. And I'm gonna be back with my um, more interesting videos. So, that was all I had for this video. So, bye.